Hello friends, welcome to a new episode of my channel RG Innovations. Please subscribe to my channel and after clicking on the bell button, please select all so that you get all the notifications of my upcoming videos. Many of my friends have requested me to show how I keep track of my inventory, like how I find any item when I need them. So for this, I have made a software myself, a small tool that I built in Visual Basic 6. A very useful and handy software. In this software, I keep track of all my inventory. You see, uh, I have named it Electronics Inventory Management Total Item 615. It's the unique number of items, not the total number of items. Unique 650 items I have in my inventory. Here I have kept a category section, like what category of product is there? Batteries, battery casing, like capacitors, like displays, integrated circuits, LEDs optocouplers, different type of categories and under these categories which product is there if I click on the category it will show on the right side list. Like if I click on development board it shows what de development boards I have in my inventory. If I need to add any new category I can add it here. Say I now want a 1, 2, 3 test category. So if I click on add category added successfully. You can see this is showing at the top. A star mark is showing here just to indicate that this category is not updated yet. So I can update the category and double click on this to remove the star mark. This is just to highlight a category which is not updated yet. Now if I want to find a particular item, what do I do? If I know the category that is very well, for example, I am looking for a 555 IC, but here I have three categories of integrated circuit here like one is integrated circuit digital one is integrated circuit logic gate and one is integrated circuit others now i do not know where 555 ic is stored so i what i will do i will do search items here item name 555 it will show me i have in my stock 555 ic item category is integrated circuit others so i can easily go to integrated circuit others and find any 555 timer IC and what other information does it show it shows the location here it's showing default because I have a separate box for IC integrated circuits so it's showing the default location current stock 19 I have 19 555 ICs in my stock so it's showing 19 I can increase or decrease the quantity by pressing like if I can I want to add one I can add one if I want to deduct one I can deduct one it shows me first added on it was first added on 2019 and modified on it's showing today's date as I have modified it today per piece price it is showing here and where did I purchase it from showing the location from where I purchased it. So all this information are showing and it's also showing a picture of the item here are two picture option like here one picture is given only if I double click on this this will enlarge and show the detailed picture. So these are the information that is stored. I can browse for any IC. For example, if I select ULN 2003, so it shows me the IC and it also shows me a connection diagram. I have to previously store it so that if I need it, I can access it. This is it. Now, if I want to change any detail of the any product, what I have to do, I just have to double click on that item and it will open in a modify component window where I can edit the product. You will in 2003, I can change where I purchase it from. I can change. I can change the quantity. I can change the rate. I can change the location and I can change the details of the product. I can also remove the photo and add the photo. I can also see the photo here. If I double click this zooms in. So everything I can change. And after making any change, I press the update button. This updates. This is one thing. Now, if I want to add a new product, what do I do? I select the category in which category I need to add the product. I click on add new and I can add a new product here. I can add the product name. For example, if I this if I go into this category and add a new product, say any 555 purchase from all my sellers are listed here. I can select any from this, say I from Amazon quantity 1, price 10, location I give default and no description I am adding, I am not adding any photo. I just press the save button and this will add in 1 to 3 test category. This is it. 
Now if I want to rename this IC, I'll just simply press F2 and this IC will rename. Say I am making 555 to 556. This will rename the IC. Now what if I want to delete, I'll just press the delete button and this will delete the product. Now if I want to delete the category, the same thing, I'll press the delete button and it will delete the category with all the items in it. This is it. Now I'm showing the search option again. If I search 4017, so it's showing the CD4017 ticket counter IC with its category name, its location, number of stock, added on, modified on, price and purchased from and with a picture. So this becomes very handy for me to find any item from my inventory and here are two other options I am showing you. For example, if I add a product in a wrong category or what I do, I have an upcoming category which I maintain to whatever items I purchased and before the shipment is delivered, I add those items in the list. So after receiving the item, I just select the item, press on change category and shift it to the correct category by clicking on move. So this is the change category option and one more option is there duplicate like if I need to duplicate any product for example the products are pretty similar only a minor change in the name is there so I duplicate the product and like this I click on duplicate it comes with all the description of that product I make the necessary changes and click on save so this is this duplicates that product so these are the basic features some more options are there at the bottom here some instructions are given how to operate the software and this button shows the total value of the inventory. I have blurred the value currently. And this button export the entire inventory in Excel format. I have already uh, exported it once. So uh, let me delete this. Now I'll export it and show it to you. I'm clicking on the button. It's asking for the file name to be saved. I'm just saving it in the name of inventory.xlsx inventory. Let me make it inventory new. Okay. Let me save it, inventory new and you can see in the progress bar, this is saving, exporting, export complete. You see the new file is generated, inventory new and if I open it, let me show you. This shows the entire inventory in Excel format. So in the batteries category, there are this many batteries, battery casing and holders, this many, battery chargers and modules, this many, boards and modules, uh, this many. So the entire inventory is exported in Excel format. So this is the software that I use to keep track of my inventory. It is very handy and very useful, but the only drawback is it only runs in Windows. It does not work in Mac or Linux. In future, I'll try to build versions that works in Mac or Linux, but since I work on Windows only, I do not need those. So I have built it for Windows only. Thank you for watching my video today up to this. We will meet again with a new video very soon. Till then, bye-bye, take care, stay happy.